What's up, y'all? This is Ty. Happy New Year. It is what? It is 2022. That's right. It's a new year. Listen, did you enjoy your holidays? Did you have a good Christmas? Did you get any gifts you wanted? Did you give any gifts? Were you able and blessed to give gifts to people that you wanted them, the gifts that they wanted? Did they enjoy? Did your kids enjoy their gifts? Did you have a good time? Did you have a great time with your family and friends? And what did you do on New Year's Eve? Did you rock out? Did you have a good party or did you stay home? Me, I had a great Christmas. My New Year's was really great. I feel like my New Year's was better than my, my New Year's Eve was better than Christmas. Christmas was fabulous. You know, the kids got their gifts. They got great gifts because I give awesome gifts. I got nice. I got a nice gift. Uh, my niece and nephews came over. We had a great time. But my New Year's was the best. You know why? Because I didn't do nothing. I sat on this couch. I laid on the couch. I rolled around. You would have thought I'd have nothing but the couch the way I was stuck to this couch on New Year's Eve. I almost missed the ball drop, y'all. But my sister had to call me and then we got on the family FaceTime and I did the Zoom, but I didn't leave this couch. But that's not why y'all came here. Y'all didn't come here to hear that. Y'all came to, you clicked on here because you want to know what does Ty think about this brand new show called Grand Crew? You also want to know what is Grand Crew? So that's what I'm here to tell you. Grand Crew is a new show on NBC. If I'm not mistaken, it comes on Tuesday nights on NBC. And it's a new comedy created by Phil Augusta Jackson. Now he was one of the writers on the television show Insecure, which is a show that I love that just ended. And so I said, let me check this out. You know, we could, let's check this show out. It should be, you know, and I heard somebody said, Ty, you got to check this show out. I think you're going to like it. So I said, you know what? I think I'll check it out. So what I did is I sat down here and I watched the first three episodes. I watched them on Peacock because Peacock is the streaming uh, NBC streaming channel. So I watched it on Peacock and here is my review. But before I get into that, what's up to all my subscribers? How y'all doing? And those of you who have not subscribed yet, what you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. It's over there, right? Or over there. One of, it's somewhere. Hit the button. It don't take long. And leave comments. Engage with a brother. Let's keep this channel going and growing. All right. So let's talk about this show. So the first episode was narrated by Garrett Morris. Y'all know Garrett Morris from Saturday Night Live. Yes, I'm dating myself. He's from Saturday Night Live. He was on Hunter. He had a few, you know, he, he had a lot of, he had, a, I think, a recurring role on Hunter. Definitely dating myself. Y'all remember Hunter, too. And, of course, we know him. He's most famous for, you know, most people know him from as either Stan from Martin or whatever his name was when he was on the Jamie Foxx show. And I know he did another show on CBS, Two Broke Girls or something like that. I didn't really watch that too much. But anyway, he's he opens the show, the first episode at least, as the narrator. And he does this monologue about black men and what we're, you know, how we're stereotyped and, the, you know, the things that we're stereotyped. So they're pretty much letting us know early on on this show this is not going to be stereotypes. We're going to break down those stereotypes and show you black men in a different light. And he introduces us to the crew, to the grand crew. And the grand crew is a group of wine drinkers, friends. It's a, about five of them, I believe, a great group of friends who all have different personalities. Then they introduce in that episode, we get an introduction. They love wine. They love getting together talking about their issues over wine and it has some very funny funny moments that first episode in the first episode we learn that echo i mean sorry the character's name is noah played by echo kellum he's got this girlfriend that works at the wine bar that they frequent and he pops the question to her because he you know he falls in love hard that's what we learn in here and she says, no, she don't want to marry him. And so the episode deals with him dealing with that. And it was kind of funny because they said, oh, here he goes. You know, this is you always do this. You fall too hard too soon. You always got to be in a relationship and things like that. That was funny. And then he have then we have his friends. He has two roommate, two friends who are roommates. And that would be um, 
Sherm and Anthony, and they were kind of funny. They kind of had the comic, comic relief, and they're getting on each other's nerves because one is not, you know, when you live with people, and I'm, some, I couldn't do the roommates thing. It's kind of rough. I did it in college, but I that was enough for me. Living with people, yeah, it's kind of tough. But um, getting, you know, two friends that are kind of getting on each other's nerves because, you know, somebody's not uh, – paying enough and do not holding up their end of the bargain. So they kind of dealt with that in that episode. And then we have the married couple who are, I, I like them and I, they seem happily married and they seem fun and they seem a little very still into each other, you know? So they, they put, they kind of open that up. And then we had uh, Noah's sister on here who is just like, she's the, she's the fun one. She's the one that's like just, and she's the real one. And she's funny on here. And that's played, she's played by Nicole Byer, who I love. And I love her because she reminds me of my children. Let me tell you why she reminds me of my children. Because we watch a show that she hosts on Netflix. It's a cooking show, a baking show called Nailed It. That's me and my kids' show right there. We Listen, we love that show. And we love her on this. So I said, I call her Nailed It. Well, her name is Nicole Byer. She's an actress and comedian. And... I love her. I think she's so funny and quirky in a funny, goofy, silly way. She is on Nailed It anyway. And so I said, let me check this out. And that's so she was here. And I like her character here. And it's good to see, you know, this plus size woman in a, in a leading role when she's not buffoonish. You know, sometimes they tend to do that sometimes. And it's no, there's no fat jokes or anything like that. And I, I appreciated that. And her character is funny. So... I thought the first episode was good. I, it had some humor to it. It was fun. And I was like, okay, let me check out another episode. Now, I, I will say I did like the narration in the beginning and in the ending of the first episode from Garrett Morris. But then I was saying, do we really need that? Because he didn't have a role in the show other than that, just doing the narration. But um, if I'm not mistaken, I know in, I don't think he did that in the second episode. I can't y'all correct me if I'm wrong if you watch it. But I know he definitely didn't do it in the third. So then we move on to the second episode, which you know, like each episode got a little bit better. The second episode um, concentrated on Nikki trying to help her brother Noah do some self care and self love because she said you're always trying to fall in love with somebody. You can't be alone. Why don't you learn to love yourself? And we see them going through that banter. And that was kind of funny. And then we had the fellas having this situation where they were um, trying to make each other cry because one guy caught the other friend crying. And it was something about <laughs> um, watching Paddington Bear 2, which is funny because that's a, that reminded me of my kids too because we went to the movies to see that. And that was a cute movie. And they were trying to get the other friend to cry. And they were saying, you know, men don't cry in front of each other. And they, what did they call it? Emotional genitalia. Something like that. It was very funny. And, and you know, I was like, okay, this show, all right. And I enjoyed that. But for me, it was the third episode to me where the show really got its groove. And that was my favorite episode. And the third episode... Um, was where they all decided to um, that something happened with the bar or whatever, and they had to. The married couple decided that they were going to host everybody at their house. That was funny, and seeing all the characters together in one house and the foolishness that happened in that episode, that was funny. You saw the strong points of each character, and I was like, okay, to me, that third episode got the show really going. And I said, I think this show is going to be on to something. The third episode made me say, okay, I kind of care about these characters a little bit and I want to see more. And the third episode, we had the married couple basically fighting over who's going to be the better host and impress the friends the most. And I thought that was, that was funny. We had um, Noah's character. He had this new hair the hair wasn't that great and then you had sherm who was dating the judge and it was a judge who she he had an issue with her because she would never take her robe off her the judge robe off 
even when she wasn't working. And it was just so many quirks and funny things and hijinks going on in that episode that to me, that was my favorite out of the three. And that episode showed me that, you know what? I think this show has potential to be funny, uh, to be a hit. But I wonder how many people are going to watch it. It's on NBC. Hopefully it gains an audience. I enjoyed it. I thought, like I said, that third episode, just I laughed at every scene. Everybody played off each other's well. Um, Anthony's character was excited about having a job. Anthony's character, Anthony, got this new job. Then he realized, wait a minute, did I get this job because it was a diversity job and I'm just a token black? Like there was so much going on in this episode, so much fun. So I would advise you to check it out. Check out Grand Crew. I, I enjoyed it. I think the show has potential. So, um, like I said, check it out. Did you watch it? Did you like it? What what didn't you like about it if you didn't like it? Let a brother know down in the comments. But check it out. If you have Peacock, you can watch all three episodes on P Peacock now. Or you wait till Tuesday and watch it on NBC. But I say it's worth a shot. Give it a shot. I think you should watch Grand Crew on NBC. That's all I have for now. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.